welcome back to my youtube channel i'm going to share with you guys my eyeshadow palette that i customized at mac it took me years to build this um palette by the way and i've had it for so many years so anyways um this thing right here i'm gonna go in real quick it's called the pro palette large dual compact so this holds your um eyeshadows it is magnetic has my closure in it through so you can see your eyeshadows once you place them in here and with the insert this is the pro palette insert it holds 15 eyeshadows they also have one that holds 12 eyeshadows and then there's another one that has two blushes and eyeshadows on the side that you can put if you want to but this is the one that i chose obviously and so it is made of magnetic it is not aluminum <laughs> Because I was reading reviews. Hold on, my daughter needs me. As I'm filming this, I'm by myself trying to create content for you guys, but it's really challenging by myself. I have no help. So I bought this at Amazon. It's a magnetic key, and it's supposed to be unlocking your drawers. Any kind of drawers that you may have. I have Alex drawers from Ikea, and so this is what I use. So I can keep my makeup safe. And so we're going to do a test right now. You see that? It is magnetic. It's not aluminum. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, this, even that, you see? So, yeah, it is magnetic. It's not aluminum. Please stop spreading lies <laughs> to those people out there. I don't understand why you would do that. So, you don't have to worry about your eyeshadows. As always, I would recommend that you always purchase the insert right here that holds your eyeshadows in place because otherwise... You can drop your palette and, you know, God forbid, there goes your money down the drain. And so it's kind of like an insurance for your eyeshadows. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you want to build your palette, you can on my cosmetics website, which I'll link it down below. I always link the website. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> so anyways, uh, it costs $131 to build your own palette. Because of Afterpay, technically, you can really do it today if you wanted to. And just pay a fraction of the price. Um, that option wasn't available for me or for other people who love makeup or MAC and they wanted to build their eyeshadow palette years ago. That wasn't available for us. So, yeah, it's not like today. So, anyways. So, that's an option for you guys. And with Afterpay with MAC, you qualify with orders of $35 and up. So, technically, you can do it. So, yeah. If you really wanted to. Each eyeshadow right here. I'm going to take this one right here. This one is brulee. These are pan eyeshadows. Each single eyeshadow is $8 per pan. So, yeah. And then, I'm going to show you right now something else. I had it right here. Okay. I'm trying to look for it. This is a, a pot in an eyeshadow. This was expensive pink. Obviously, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> um, these are... They qualify for back to Mac, but they're more expensive. These are $18. Mm -hmm. So it makes more sense for you to buy in pen, in a pen form, <laughs> to build your, bless you, mama, bless you, to build your palette. Now, there is another option that you may have if in case you don't want to build your own eyeshadow palette. I'm going to share with you guys right now. They have this one, which is a preset palette. What does that mean? It just means that it's an eyeshadow palette that is ready to go for you. You don't have to think of the eyeshadows, um, how you want the color story to be. It's already made for you. So, kind of with this thing. Um, it's the previous video before this. The Art Library Nude Model Eyeshadow Palette. So, it comes with one shimmer. All these four eyeshadows are frost <laughs> i'm trying to remember and the rest of them are mattes okay so there you go so if in case you don't want to build your own palette you have an option like this one the only thing about this palette is that once you hit pan just know that this is a preset that means that there's no way of you lifting right here there's no way of the pans coming out okay so once you hit pan you hit pan that's it okay that means you have to purchase them individually or build your own product. So that's why um, I'm giving you an option because this is more economical for someone who maybe doesn't want to spend a lot of money or doesn't have money to spend. Okay, so buy the art library. 
which I do recommend and <laughs> watch my video, which is the previous video before this. And I'll link it down below. And I do have a playlist. So it's my review and swatch videos that I have for you guys. So make sure you check it out. So through the rundown of some finishes from MAC that they have. Now, some of these I do have and some of them I don't. I cannot speak on the ones that I don't own, only the ones that I do have. Okay, so for instance, a matte finish. That one would be like blonde type, soft brown, and or even carbon. This one I'm right here. This one is a quad. <laughs> I've done a video, by the way. Billy on quad on that. Uh, a shimmer would be something like rice paper. A frost would be like floof right here. Okay. Um, let's see. A luxe pearl would be something like expensive pink. A velvet would be like mulch and or texture. Um, a satin would be like a brulee. Okay. Brulee right here, this eyeshadow right here, which is a best-selling eyeshadow, by the way. I don't have Powder Kiss Soft Matte eyeshadows. I don't have Dazzle Shadows. I don't have Dazzle Shadow Extreme, and I don't have Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the liquid form. I don't have those. I also don't have Extra Dimension eyeshadows, so I cannot speak on those ones. <laughs> I'm just giving you one. Okay, what I do have and what I don't have. So now, let's go through every single eyeshadow that I have in my palette. That's why you're here. The shadow right here is called Brulee. Brulee is a soft cream beige. And it's a satin finish. And it's one of their best sellers. Next one is Blanc Type. I love Blanc Type. <laughs> and Blanc Type is a creamy beige. And it's a matte finish. This one is really beautiful. I love to use both of these for all over the eyelid and this one, especially this one, this blonde type is great for kind of like brightening the eye. Such a beautiful eyeshadow. I love Rice paper is a peachy gold with shimmer. Floof, which by the way, floof is discontinued and I didn't even know until I started doing research on this, on these eyeshadows. This right here and this one is beautiful you can definitely find it on ebay maybe if you're lucky on glambot or poshmark yeah and this one is described as a light beige and it's a frost finish really beautiful i, I love this eyeshadow by the way so sad that it's gone okay the next eyeshadow is called naked lunch And this one is a minimal pink with shimmer. That's how it is described. I forgot to mention that I love to use glue for all over the eyelid. And this one is great for if you wanna brighten your eye or you wanna use it in your inner tear duct or in your brow bone. This one is great too. Naked Lunch is pretty all over the eyelid, you know, tear duct, brow bone highlight. Soft brown is great for your crease, yeah. And then let's see. Did I mention soft brown? Oh, right now. Soft brown is a light brown. And that one is a matte. It's a matte finish. We need to have soft brown. Yeah. Okay, so then the next row is this one right here. It's texture. And texture is a peachy brown. And it's a velvet finish. So, hopefully I can get it for you guys right there. So, can you see it up close? And then the next eyeshadow is Swiss Chocolate. And this one, I bought it a long time ago. This one is a rich chocolate brown and it's a matte finish. These eyeshadows right here, you can use them easily for your crease to deepen up your outer V. You can do that with all these eyeshadows right here in this row. So then the next eyeshadow is called Brown Script. I remember poor Brown Script, they put her on the goodbye list years ago. And so we, us, the Mac lovers, say no. Mac, what are you doing? <laughs> and they brought, they brought back Brown Script, yeah. They took her off the goodbye list. So yeah. So this one is a reddish brown matte, okay? Yeah, so there she goes. Next one is Espresso. Yeah, it's this one right here. And this one is a muted golden brown. Hold on, let me hold it like this. It's because I'm nervous. I took, I drank coffee before this video. And so if I'm shaky, it's because of that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but 
this one is great. I do like this one for the outer V. Yeah. And this one is a matte eyeshadow. So yeah. Next one is Woodwink. Who doesn't know Woodwink? I love Woodwink. Every single time I go to MAC, I always wear Woodwink. And they always ask me, what's on your eyes? And I always have to say, it's Woodwink. And they're like, yes. So Woodwink is a warm antique gold. And that's a Deluxe Pearl. By the way, I love Deluxe Pearls from MAC. They're one of my favorite finishes from them. Yeah, so beautiful. Really beautiful. I love that one. Highly recommend it. Looks beautiful all, all over the eyelid. And this eyeshadow right here is called Mulch. And Mulch is a red-brown bronze. And it has pearl in it. Do you see right there? And I get to see it right there, of course. I want to make sure that you guys get to see it. And, and this one is a velvet. I didn't know that until I started doing research on these eyeshadows. Yeah. Okay. Sable is a gold plum with bronze pearl. And it's a frost. It's a pearl frost. And then the next eyeshadow is called Satin Taupe. I love Satin Taupe. And Satin Taupe is a taupe with silver shimmer. This is so beautiful. You have to have Satin Taupe. If you love taupes, please buy this one. <laughs> yeah, I love this one all over the eyelid. It's really beautiful. But you can use it anywhere, any way you like, really. These eyeshadows, I've seen all the looks that MAC has created on their website, you know, with the models. Really beautiful looks they do. So anyways, um, I love that one. This one is called Cranberry. And that's the last eyeshadow in my palette. If I can get it. Okay, so... Cranberry is a red plum with silver shimmer. But you can barely tell the, the shimmer in it. But it's really beautiful. When you see that swatch, oh my god, you're like, whoa. There you go. That's my palette right there. <laughs> I can tell you in the future which ones I'm going to repurchase, you know. Nothing against the ones that I want. Um, but I can tell you true, okay. So we're going to go run do the rundown of each row, which one I would repurchase and which one I will recommend. Highly recommend, obviously, the ones that I will repurchase. I'm going to repurchase brown type. From this row, I still have floof, so I'm going to keep floof because she's discontinued until I can repurchase this one again. Soft brown, of course, I'm going to repurchase that one. From this row, brown script. From this row, wood wink. From this row, sand and taupe. And before someone says, well, what about Espresso? I already have an eyeshadow that's kind of similar to Espresso, so I'm not going to do that. And then with Cranberry, I already have another eyeshadow that is giving me the same effect as this eyeshadow. So it doesn't make sense for me to repurchase this one. And of course, I would repurchase expensive pink because I love expensive pink. But I hate, I hate pan a long time ago with that one. I think that's all I have to say about my eyeshadow palette. I hope that you guys... Um, have learned something in this video personally for me i feel like it is worth building your own eyeshadow palette such a neat freak um because you can customize it to your own liking um which eyeshadows you want which finishes you prefer um yeah and i hope this video was helpful for you <laughs> to make a decision you know so yeah i hope you like this video if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to slap a like for me please for favor and leave me a comment down below do you guys have a mac palette have you created your own custom palette um are you planning to customize your own palette in the future <laughs> um i think that's all i have to say you have to go <laughs> to be with my kiddos but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and 
I'm very grateful for anybody to take their time out of their day to watch anything that I post. Yeah. And oh yeah, make sure you check out my TikTok. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video because I was so concentrated on the US channel. But I've made a beautiful TikTok for you guys. And I also if you don't follow me on my Instagram, please follow me on my Instagram. It's Barbara Love Snack. Easy name to remember. And I do have a Twitter. I tweet sometimes. And of course I go on Snapchat because I love Snapchat. Yeah. So anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.